Hey there, what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to stuff my Christmas binder. Yes, I said before I was going to put a Christmas binder together with all of these scratch-offs I have bought. And that's what we're gonna to do today. My name's Lisa, and as always, I'm super glad you're here with me today. So let's see what our cash is. It's 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Yeah, I think that's right. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Okay, I thought it was 90, but I was wrong. So we'll put our cash here. Hope everybody's doing well. We're expecting a windstorm, like they're closing school early kind of wind, um, and possible tornadoes later on this afternoon. And the trees are really starting to blow now. But so far, so good for us. I don't think we will get the brunt of it. That'll mostly be a little bit north of us, maybe in Ocala, Gainesville area. Okay, so this is my Christmas binder for now. Ah, just so much fun. All right, so we are going to start off with this savings challenge here. This is from Golden Girl Budgets. It will be worth $100 when it's done. So let's see, let's start right off in the middle. That is $8, perfect. We will give you 10. I don't have any singles, and we're just gonna make do with what we have. What is the goal for Christmas? Last year I had 1,200, and I think I'll be okay with 1,000. I think we're gonna change it up this year as far as what we're going to do. I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna put a whole lot of pressure on myself to fund the full 1,200. This is from Snow Gardener 307, Miss Marlene out there in Wyoming, Christmas Village. It's really pretty. I don't think she may have this in her Etsy shop. We have 10 in there, so let's see. It'll be $50 when we finish. Holy cow. People would be taking all my money. So that's okay. We'll just put this here and this here. We'll just move some money around. So that I have a 20 so the other one should go pretty good, I think. So that's fine. So as this money accrues and I finish challenges, I will move it over into my bigger binder and just let that money sit there until we get $1,000 or $1,200, whichever. Last year, I funded it out um, by almost the end of July. I was so focused on it. We have some other things going on, so I don't know if I can finish it as quickly. Maybe. This is a new challenge for me from Sarah on a budget. Yes, I did buy this. Really pretty, isn't it? Winter Wonderland. And we'll just start in the middle with everybody. Oh, nine. Look at that. Nine dollars. All right, you get ten. That's fine. We will be okay with that. An O taco tree. Yes. So I not, haven't added all these up. I don't know what the total final amount will be. You know, surprise is okay. Let's start here in the middle. Six dollars. You know, we're going to give you five because probably as the scratch off progresses, I'll be rounding up. That's okay. Oh, and this is from Lindsay over at Boy Mom Loves to Save. Oh, I didn't even see those down here. I was just focused on these. Eh. Well, there you go. So at least once a month, we'll hit this binder, maybe twice a month, um, but we'll see. We see what medical bills roll in for my husband for his last stay, um, when we're gonna buy the HVAC for the house because we've had to use some of those funds. But you know, Christmas is still important. It's not everything, but it is nice. This is from Chris Gilmore over at Tiwatu. Tiwatu. She has a nice, cute little Etsy shop. Seven dollars. Come on, people. All right, you're going to get ten. Oh, not fifteen. We'll give you ten. Ten dollars. Okay. And what do we have in there so far? We have ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Sounds good. And then I have an IOU for this one from Ellie. 
Um, yeah, so we have to owe that $5. Let's put that in there. Then we'll give that a good scratch. Right here. Ooh, $7. I guess you're going to get 10 I should maybe invest in some singles, but I, I just, I don't. So that's okay. 5 10 15 20 25 $30 so far. So we know we'll have $40 left to pick. And this is from Ellie on Earth. I love these vintage cards. I have a few more of hers to go through. I don't know if I have to use them for Christmas, but I have them on hand. So I have $25 left. Well, let's see. I don't know if we could finish one. Look at me getting all, all, uh, all happy. Eh, 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 eh. Well, probably not this one. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can, how far we can get on Ellie's. $70 and we have $25. I'm not going to finish it. Maybe we can finish that Christmas Village one. We can be close. Let's try to knock this one out. And then we can at least knock it out the next time. It'll be close. We'll be $5 short. So this will be 5 And let's start here. 12 see that 7 and 5 and oh uh oh so that's 10 15 22 so that's 25 we might have an IOU let's see what this one is oh that's $25 even sweet that worked out pretty good do I have a vacuum no <sighs> that's what we're gonna do all right, so we just have probably five more dollars at the very most to finish this one, and then we can add that to our envelope. That's that's cool. See, that, that feels good. When you accomplish it, these small ones really, I have this stuff everywhere. But let me um, share with you about my plan for Christmas this year. I borrowed this from Katie in the house. I have reward points that I have been saving. Let me put this in the center. And at Capital One, I have $152 so far. You need to be up close and personal to see that. Sorry, don't get dizzy. I have $152 for that. I'm just gonna let that ride. Now that is probably from last quarter as well. I just never had time you know it's not that hard but just to move that money over so i'm going to let it sit and we'll see how far we get in a month i pay all my bills with capital one all the ones that i can my my electric the pool bill any insurance it all goes through the any it all goes through that card right there next we have an amazon and the reward points on capital one are two percent we have a chase amazon that is specific for amazon that gives me five percent back and so far we have 45 dollars so what I can't order with my Capital One, we order uh, through Amazon. And that is the pee pads and any supplements my dad, my, my husband takes. My dad, no, my husband, good grief. And, you know, hair care products. I get bigger bottles of shampoo and it's a little bit cheaper that I don't have to go into Target and get sucked in with all the other cute stuff Target does because that does happen. And then upside, is my gas app that I haven't cashed out in a couple months, probably three or four months. And that's up to $22. Now my husband uses that and we get however many pennies back per gallon that they are offering at that time. It's never really a set rate. So I might, I might not go, I might go cashless with my gas and start using upside to build this up. This is slow, but it is, um, it's rewarding. I think last year we saved up up to $80 in upside. So yeah, and my son uses it. He's one of my referrals. And then I get a penny per gallon from him. It's not that much. He's the only one that actually uses it because he, he does pretty well with it too. He has a company vehicle that he uses the app with and he gets uh, pennies like 10 cents a gallon, whatever it is offering on his work truck and on his personal truck, he can use it as well. Then he has a couple friends under him and then I get a half a penny for them. It's not the big money, but every little bit helps. So it's a fun little app. And then Rakuten, 
I spelled it wrong, but you know what it is. I have $20 sitting over there. And this was from an Aflac because, um, no, not Aflac, AARP. I was close. It began with an A. AARP, I signed up for a three-year membership. They had a, I think, uh, three years for $45. And then Rakuten had $20 discount. You know, you got $20 over at Rakuten for that. So I'm going to let that sit there. So, so far in rewards, I have $239 for Christmas, which is not bad. So maybe mid-year we can get this up to like I don't know, maybe 500, maybe, we'll see. But this is what I'm going to do for now. I'm gonna leave it there, because if I move it over and I'll spend it on something else, it'll go to a different sinking fund. And um, I think it'll be more fun to me to watch this. Maybe it'll be more fun for you too. We'll see. So that is what we're doing with that. I just have to clip it to this so I don't lose it, because the sticky is wearing off. So this will be fun. So I, um, I won't have to actually save as much cash. You know, we can go another direction with the cash that this pin is hard. Very, very hard. Uh, it's cute. Okay, we'll just go with basic silver. So that is what we're doing for Christmas, which I think it'll be fun. Anyway, are, what, are you doing anything different for saving up for Christmas? I mean, are you doing savings challenges? You probably are, maybe. I mean, have you thought about working your rewards into it? I know Katie inspired me, so I'm gonna try it and um, see how it goes. I'll put this right here. All right, that is it for this Christmas binder, my holiday binder, and I will see you guys on the next video. Oh, if you don't already, make sure you're subscribed leave a thumbs up. And if you just watch, I appreciate, I appreciate that too. So I will see you guys on the next video. Ooh, did you see that bird? All right. Bye.